Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Aloha Creations. And I'm so excited because I know I've been away for quite some time now. I wanted to show you uh, a haul video. And these are a compilation of my thrift shops throughout the summer months and uh, during uh, my vacation as well. And I just wanted to show you all the wonderful things I got. Start off with a couple of books that I purchased and of course uh, I purchased these because of the beautiful embossed cover of this one and then the design on this one. Aren't those beautiful? This one, I, yes, I'm, I'm a dog lover. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry for, for you out there that have cats. Not that I don't like cats. I just prefer having dogs, but you will look at the illustrations on this book. It's so beautiful. It's nature and I really liked it. Um, I have an idea who this book might end up with. <laughs> I, have a, I have a friend, uh, she, yeah, her and her cat, and uh, she might appreciate this book. And then, I have posted this um, on my Instagram, but I just wanted to show you because yes, you, yeah, this can't not not be not shown. Um, this is so incredible, the detail on this. You know, I just realized it looks like they're owl eyes, right? You know, it could be me. So I'm, I was very excited when I purchased this. So obviously you guys, I. I'm going to turn this into a journal. Um, I am working on three leather bound journals already, so I'm going to wait until I finish those. And then there's this one. I, yes, um, it's very Asian. And again, it's a folder. I don't know what it housed before, but I thought this would be a neat uh, cover as well. And there's these two interesting things. I don't usually buy um, magazines that, yeah, because I have, I have so many books, but this magazine in particular, and I think I'm going to have, I'm going to keep my eye out on this, on this brand of magazine because I fell in love with this. And I tell you, I wish I could do these embroiderers because I, I mean, yes, if I did know how to do this, I would embroider everything and anything. And um, so far, I am on the lookout of, of this, like something like this. And then with the metal brads, I, I don't know what you call it, metal dowel. It's so cool. It really is. And every page of this magazine has an image of this beautiful work. I guess it's a catalog for orders. Yes, because it's numbered. Like, look at the birds. Look at the deer. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look. Look at this, look. At this. Oh no. And then I, I was, I'm wondering, maybe they can still order. I really don't know because look at the pillowcases. And um, they also do, you know, a poster for chairs I saw. Look at this idea. It is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this elderflower. Oh my. Anyway, I, I know I can't be like every page. Am I flipping every page? Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the chair poster. Okay, why am I so excited about... Oh, okay. But uh, yes, so every page has an image and it's just so beautiful and 
I'm on the lookout for these types of things, embroiders. And then I got this. And again, another catalog, but this time it's stencil. And I got it for the cover. It's so beautiful. It's green. It's got a dragonfly. But again, the inside has so many beautiful images of beautiful different stencils. And I will be... Oh, and oh, and there's this. This is so cool. I will be using the pages for, you know, for signatures in my journals. I think it's really cool. And then I found this. Um, it's, what is it? Storyteller crate paper. And it's a whole paper pad. There is one that's already cut out uh, or trimmed a page, but basically every page is here. And um, I don't know how much these are regular price, but I remember paying, I think $3 for this pack. So this is really cool. And, and then a couple of paper things, but this is a playing card. And this is not, I've seen these. These are, yeah, these are new, but these are bookmarks and you color them in. This is different designs and oh I can't wait to include these in my happy mail or my pen pal these are really cool and then this Asian playing card I looked at this and I almost passed it but when I looked at the um the, the cards they were all different images so I was very excited about that so it's just not one image. So I, yes, so these are really cool. Guys, I know. <sighs> Another one. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it. And then here's a little one. Little, this, these are made in India. I don't know what they were used for. And there's a little slit in the middle and, um, Asked one of my friends, she may, she may have, she thought it could be, you know, you put incense in there, but I don't know. I don't know how it would hold up, but I think these are really pretty. I would display them in my uh, trinkets, uh, a trinket, in my uh, printer's tray, above my desk. Maybe I can insert a photo so you can see. But so far, I have put my dried flower in there. It's so cute, this duck. I mean, yeah, this is so cute. And you guys, this is so pretty. Look. So cute. And then this one, I did post this again in my Instagram. It's just, um, this was a similar pattern that I collect uh, I collect my um, English China, but it isn't English. It's uh, made in Taiwan, but it's pretty anyway. And then I found this tin and I, I've got to stop collecting tins. I mean, I have to, I really do. But I mean, look at this image. And um, right now it's housing this. And this is one of the best finds I have ever encountered. And I just can't believe that I found them. There was actually a lot more, but I couldn't buy them all because I would be broke. <laughs> so, wow, like this is so cool. I just can't believe it. This is so incredible. I love it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. What are these called? I have no idea. And, um, Bulgari. That's the only thing I could read out of that. 
and then this one. Wow. Salzburg. And I got the ones that are different envelopes. Oh my gosh, look at this. And, and each of these are 10 plus in each pack. And it's just so beautiful. I can't believe I scored on this. Like, it's incredible. Really, really incredible. Look at this one. 10 photos in here. I did count. Um, oh my, and then look at this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What are these called? What would you, I, I mean, photographs, yes, but they come in these packages and are, were they like a souvenir or something? Wow, really cool. Yeah, you guys, there was a lot more and I was just like, oh no, what am I doing? Am I leaving them and what's happening? And these are the ones that I chose. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm not going to go through all of them. But anyway, this was one of the most exciting finds. Um, I love these kinds of things. Old photographs. It's just incredible. I love it. I love it so much. And then... Oh, more paper stuff. And this is really cool. I am from British Columbia. And this is, it says Early Campbell River. Um, yes, these are really cool cards. There was only four in here. But that's okay, because we have the envelopes in here. This is really cool. So it was supposed to be eight and I only have four. So the, f the other four is not there, but that's okay. And then I saw this um, brass paper pad holder. Um, these are quite old. I just, I looked it up and wow, these guys on eBay were selling some close to, you know, 80 bucks, 85, even close to 100, I believe. Wow, so this is really cool. I love it. It's so neat. Then, anyway, I got these scissors. I call them scissors because I keep forgetting they're called pinking shears. And, yay, they work. And they were, I think, $2. These are really cool because I really needed them. And then I got these. These are prong fastener bases, but I'm going to use these. The first um, idea that I got from, well, my friend Tanya uh, gave me a couple of these in a happy mail. I didn't know what to do with them at first, but since I only had got the two, I ended up using them in my journals and now I found them. These are really cool. And, um, you could put little scrap paper in, in your journal and then, um, you can, it's removed. It's, it can be removable or attached, um, permanently. It's up to you, but I think it just adds, uh, you know, layers in a page of your journal. And then I got this. You know, I don't have a lot of punches. Um, these are really cool because they're clear so I can actually see the image being center centered when I cut when I cut them. So I haven't opened it yet. It's new. Uh, there's all its different sizes. It's really nice. So um, that's what I'm going to use it for. Hmm. And speaking of punches, I did find one of these. <laughs> this was 
four dollars i thought this was very expensive but i know these brands and michaels they are not four dollars even when they go on sale what do you think i don't know i don't know but i know these can be quite expensive so when i saw it i obviously i had to take it home with me and now i'm i'm playing with this it's so cool oh and um another thing that i can i that i will add to my pin collection these are also very good these little pins um this can be used to decorate your journals or or well i mean i use them i use them for my scarves and my shirt and stuff so this is really cool i i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it or not but i who knows uh for now it's i i'm keeping it and i'm gonna use it and then I found this little tote bag. Um, how much was it? Two dollars. And you, we all know I'm going to use this as a little pouch for a journal. And I already have an idea of what theme this will be. I showed my friend Tanya and she also had the same idea. So I think that's what's going to happen. And then you guys, um, doilies these are so cool look at this you know i got i don't know gypped because it says two dollars for four and this is not four this is two. Oh, might have to go back there and say you know i paid two dollars and i'm missing two of these so who knows <laughs> anyways i love it and then guys um yeah, a couple more of those um also i got this little table runner, it's so cute. I, yes, I buy these romantic, um, you know, fabric to use as fabric covers and things like that for a journal, but I have no clue how to layer them, you know? And I, I see other ladies. I, I have recently uh, subscribed to uh, the girl with the butterfly and she uses tons of these types of appliques and soft fabrics and 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 the sequined ones it's so cute and um I, I get really inspired but then i'm i'm lost because i don't work with a lot of fabrics so hmm yeah guys her work is absolutely amazing i'll link her her youtube in my description and you guys can go ahead and check her out And I got a whole bunch of these. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I'm telling you, they're all in me. In, in this, in here. In here. See? Look. Um, I kind of got carried away. It's ridiculous because when I was on vacation, uh, yes, they, they were all in these packages for like two bucks a dollar it was insane and so i went a little crazy and i bought them most of them but look at these i mean i haven't even opened some of them this looks like a christmas one so i'm not even gonna bother opening that one but oh look at this this what would you call this trim things with beads wow it's so pretty and I've already used some of them, so, um, yes, really cool stuff. And of course, these little cute toilies. I'm very excited, and I wish I could, you know, I need to start making something. And I know it's been a while, so I think that's where I've been just stuck, really just doing, creating um, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get started soon because I'm itching to make something. I just don't know what it is. So you guys, I hope you enjoy this haul. I know it's quite all over the place. I do thrift because uh, that's where I mostly buy my uh, junk journal supplies. Um, you know, you guys, um, I I watch everyone else's um 
you know, videos and posts and I see everybody's posts and I just get inspired uh, from everybody. And I appreciate you guys just keeping up with me, even though I've been absent for quite some time. So I'll see you guys again in the next video and I hope you guys are going to have a wonderful week. Bye for now. Get inspired, everybody. <laughs>